Alright, let's burn this baby. Okay. Time to brush down. Put on a little bit of Ultra die. Oops. Oh, great. Purple hands. All right, I got this one hollowed out. And I'm gonna give it a slight sanding and then I'm going to dye it uh, on this side. After I, and a slight scorching. Let's put the, the dye on this one and see how it's going to look. Alright, so the purple I'm using is the Folk Art Ultra dye, if I have enough. And uh, I mean, we've, we've seen that we've gotten good results with it in the past. 
I tried the Venom Green Ultra Dye and I had horrible results with that this morning. Let's let this soak in a little bit. I'll come back when I'm when I'm ready to put some finish on. Looking at this one, and this piece, I think it's going to be one of the best ones I've done yet. Least sap, nice even grain. Yeah, let's get this one burned. Got to get the floor cleaned up, then I'll burn it. Time again for the brush down. Oh yeah. I do like the way this looks. Let me get my dye mixed up and I will come back and spray it. I've uh, the green stain didn't work good, so I reburned it, rebrushed it. Now I'm uh, mixed up some Kita stain, which I just got. So this will be a new try. Um, we'll see how I how this stuff works out. This one was mixed with water. Just a hint of uh, alcohol. So this one's gonna have to come off the lathe and uh, and dry because water before I can put any uh, poly on it, which is what I'm gonna and I'm gonna start using a spray poly because I they, they it dries faster and I think it can give a more even coat if you do it right. So let me get this one off and let it sit. This one's also gonna be the new Kita dye and I believe this one is red. Ooh. Wow. See now, the red is coming out vastly more vibrant than, than the orange did. This might be the best die so far. Wow, would you look at that. Woo! I like that. No, I do like that. I like that a lot. We'll see how it looks on the inside when I get to turn it. So, I'll be back. Alright, so I'm working on another, my other, on this bowl again. I'm back with it. 
I tried to um, spray it venom green. I don't know if it was too cold. It just didn't work out. So now I'm going to hollow this one out and uh, we're going to go with what I thought was orange with the Kita dyes, but in fact is yellow. So I got the last of the ones I'm doing. I've been working on uh, with trying new dyes. This one will be the key to dye also um, in red. Let's see how it compares to the trans dye tint. Trans, excuse me, trans tint dye in red. Um, I th have a feeling that the key to dye works much, uh, much easier without a lot of extra work. Um, whereas the trans tint dye, I had to do multiple coats and even had to do some rub in on uh, some of the colors with some straight up dye. Um, but let me hollow this last one out, put a light sanding, and then we'll get to the dye. Well, let's try the Kita red dye and see how it does. Wow, that is that is one vibrant red. Well, I know what I want for the most vibrant colors now. Holy smokes, look at that. That is dramatic. So, these uh, Shotsuki band bowls are going to become a staple for my uh, craft shows. Um, I'll have, I mean, it's not going to be exclusively what I do, but I'm going to have a, a good supply of them because every one I've made has been sold pretty quickly, so uh, I'm pretty pretty happy with that. Um, I need to find a, a better supply of, uh, of pine that's clear and has less uh, uh, sap pockets in it because this one was actually a root ball, which is probably the worst stuff to use because there's a ton of sap inside of root ball. But um, 
it, I'm, I'm happy with how they came out and and some people kind of like this modeled finish I had some lady who snapped it right up and said she loved the way it looked so you know that's just what you get when you uh, when you sell these things you just lots of different opinions so uh, I'm gonna let this one dry before I can put finish on it and then I'll come back and we'll take a look at it when we're all done all right I'll be back all right let's hit it with a torch let's put some dye on this one Okay. I'll do it real quick with the sandpaper. Now time for the dye. Stuff that looks orange but is actually yellow. And this is the Kita die. This is my first bowl I'll be finishing up using Kita die. So let's get a good look at how this this uh, this stuff works. And this stuff is, uh, I mean, half is. I mean, it so far it looks the most vibrant of any of the ones I've used, and that's pretty fantastic, actually. Let's get this slightly dry, and then we will. Uh, I'll take it off, and then I'll come back when it's time to put some finish on. Okay, so we're back, and this was my trial of the Kita dye stains. And uh, this one here is still the purple Folk Art Ultra dye. Um, I wanted to compare how I thought the Kita powder dyes compared to the Ultra dye. Because to at this point, the Ultra dye has been the most vibrant color I've been able to get. But I'll tell you what, this Kita dye is pretty nice. This is the uh, this is the yellow, and uh, this is the red. The red is far deeper than the trans tint dye stain that I had for this. Um, but the the yellow is just tremendous. This is this is very very nice. I'm very pleased with that. I mean, the Folk Art Ultra dye that that has been pretty solid as far as how it works. But I think the uh, I think the key to die is going to be something I'm going to do more of in the future. I like I like the uh, evenness of it. I mixed it with water and gave it just a uh, just a touch of 91% uh, alcohol. But um, they recommend using it with water. The guys I've seen online thought they got better color out of it using it with water. So that's what I'm doing. The one. Uh, downside to it is with alcohol you can put finish on it almost right away with water you got to let it sit for a little while before you can go to putting finish on but uh, no this is this is this is pretty good pretty good I'm happy with that so I've tried all of them the trans tint now that stuff works excellent mixing it with epoxy so you can use that there um, but I didn't get as much luck with it using it on wood directly. So I'm probably going to stick with the Ultra dyes and the Kita dyes when it comes to staining wood directly. All right, so uh, thank you for watching. If you like any of my videos, please look at some of my other content you'll see around me. I'd appreciate that. If you can, I would love it if you could click like and subscribe. If you like what I'm doing, leave a comment. If you don't like what I'm doing, leave a comment. I'd like to hear about it. At any rate, please stay safe and have a good day. Bye-bye.